I've been building a Lego Minecraft PC for over 30 days, and today I'm going to talk about the finished setup. During this video, look out for the golden brick I hit somewhere in the setup. If you find it, I'll pin the comment and give you a shout out in future content. Before that, I'm going to play Minecraft on this computer. One of my favorite recent comments was from Gabrieletto that brought up an awesome idea to build this computer setup in Minecraft, and you won't believe what happened when I did. For starters, I'm not experienced by any means when it comes to playing Minecraft. So if you see me doing things the hard way or just not that great, I'm a noob. The mod I'm using today is Mindbricks, which is awesome because it basically converts the game into LEGO Minecraft. After I'm done with building my setup here, I'm going to load up the tutorial world and show you what I'm going to build on the next LEGO Minecraft PC. Okay, let's play some Minecraft. On the bottom corner are thermals recorded during the gameplay from my 3.5 inch monitor. The center number is CPU temp, to the right, GPU. I'll leave it up for a few, but it really didn't change much throughout the gameplay. I already have the wall and basic working area laid out, plus the big TNT block I used to turn the computer on. Problem is, I wasn't able to rotate half the blocks facing out, and I didn't really like the multiple TNT letters. So I tore it down and started building one from scratch. I attempted to scale it to the computer setup, but that simply wasn't possible due to not having any 1x2 pieces. So the TNT block is huge, but for what it's worth, I'm pretty happy with it. To finish, I had to add some TNT to the inside. More on that later. And just look at it with the setup. So next I start on the river and waterfall. And check this out. Boom. Now it's really starting to take some shape. I also added the nether portal to the corner. Then I built the bridge to cross the river. I built a lot of other stuff that I didn't screen record when something really unexpected happened. So I wanted to add some flat 2x2 tiles around the entrance of the TNT block to basically get rid of the studs. I realized when it was too late that it wasn't just a tile, it was a stone pressure plate. Huge mistake because it blew up most of the world. I had already finished both mountains around the mine caves, the mine shaft, and the mining station above the computer, the end portal, and obviously I lost the big TNT block that took about an hour to make. I really wish I would have screen recorded everything up to that point because I wanted to blow it up at the end when I was done. So I had to stop here, for now at least. I may come back to this later on if you want me to. If I get enough interest in rebuilding this world, I will prioritize it, so leave a comment if you want me to keep going here. Either way, let's move on to the tutorial world. A few subscribers suggested I build the old school tutorial world next. I've received a lot of feedback after that, suggesting a lot of you would be excited about this build. So this is happening. I really love this mod because it will help me scale future builds more accurately. This map is massive compared to the space I'm working with, so I will build sections individually. I can see at least two or three good areas to build from on this map. So leave a comment on which area you would like to see first. Now onto the finished current setup. As seen in my last video, I built another portal in this corner, but I wasn't happy with the translucent blocks. So I ordered some purple panels and added obsidian around the portal. I also added some nether spilling out of the area. I love how the nether just pops out through these panels. It looks awesome. Next big change is the end portal. It may not be completely legal in the Minecraft world, but I built an above ground stronghold as I didn't have enough elevation built up to put it underground. Lastly, I added some tiles around the mineshaft for a nice finishing touch. That's all I got for this build. I appreciate everyone's advice, suggestions, and feedback since starting this setup. Special thanks to King Bacon, Lego Tendo64, and my favorite Discord server, LS Motion, for a lot of input and influence on this build. If I missed your suggestions, I'm sorry. There have been more comments than I can keep up with, and some ideas I simply can't build. Please continue to offer your advice, and I hope to add whatever you want to future builds. And of course, give you a shout out. The biggest shout out goes to my six year old for adding a shark and owl on top of the stronghold, a bicycle next to the pillager castle, a mystery portal of some sort, some railing, and all kinds of other stuff. Thanks little bud. With that, thanks for checking this out and I'll see you next time.